Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm The Legit Creep and I am a professional body piercer. We know there is a whole realm of piercing videos on TikTok. I found some videos that are a what your piercing says about you. They're basically just people like judging piercings. Obviously no piercing actually means anything. Like there's no meaning behind any piercings. They're just piercings. However, you do get a lot of the same type of people getting certain piercings, I thought instead of just some random person saying like, this is what I see in the street of like people who have these piercings. Instead, I would give you my perspective as a piercer. I can't say precisely who gets what and that that piercing is dedicated to that particular person. But what I can say is that like, from piercing things, you do see sort of a trend and you generally do see like a common ground of like the type of people. I'm gonna see if these people are accurate or if they're completely off with what they are saying is this person gets this piercing. I'd just like to say no hate to any of the piercings that I like these people will be talking about or that I'm going to respond to them with. I just see it and I know the type of people. And I'm not saying you're definitely a specific type of person if you have one of these piercings. I probably have most of the piercings that are going to be seen. So I'm all of these things. So no judgment from me. What your piercing says about you part one. If you have your nose pierced, this was definitely one of your first piercings you got. And you probably got it when you were 15 or 16. Honestly, it's kind of basic. If you have your cartilage then, you either did it yourself or you recently got it done because it looks This is also a really basic piercing. If you have an industrial bar, you definitely had a really bad email for you. And it still shows. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Well, no, you don't because that is so, so very wrong. Speaking from both a piercer and an emo's perspective, Emos don't have industrial piercings. That's like completely, completely wrong. Emos can't have industrial piercings because most of the time they're going to gigs and stuff. It won't work. Wrong. As for the nose piercing, I wouldn't say it's people's first piercing. The helix is always people's first piercing. Like that is far more common than a nose being like someone's first piercing. Because if it's someone's first piercing, most of the time their parent is bringing them in to get a piercing and they're not okay with them getting a facial piercing. So they go for a helix and they're normally allowed a helix piercing. So like that's, don't agree with that one either. Maybe a helix piercing is kind of basic, but like I got one too. So like, let's all be basic together. If you have your septum pierced, you're definitely bisexual. And honestly, all the baddies have them. If you have your septum pierced, you're hot as well. And you also probably have a female face. I hate all of the above. No, you don't categorize someone's sexuality into a piercing that they have. You're not a baddie if you have a septum piercing. Everyone has septum piercings because they are the most, like they're the easiest piercing to hide. So you're not a baddie, like you're gonna hide it. How does that make you a baddie? You're like the, the, the furthest from being a baddie. You are a goodie if you have a septum piercing because you can hide it. You don't want your parents to see it. You don't want your workplace to see it. You can hide it. You're a goodie, not a baddie. Baddie would be getting face tatties, like so. No. If you have your belly button piercing, you definitely did something athletic as a kid. Whether it be cheer or like, and I know this is a fact. And you definitely got it when you were younger. Can't agree with that one either. A lot of people will come in to get their navel pierced, so like younger girls. And most of the time, like sport is an issue. A lot of people who are doing sport, like tend to not get it done because like they either can't swim for a certain amount of time or like, it's gonna be irritated with like the type of activity that they're doing. So most of the time, no. It's hard for sporty people to have navel piercings because of all of these things. So like, yeah, where are you getting your information from? You're definitely a crazy bitch. Y'all got some energy that is unmatched. I can, but we I can it. feel that one, yes. If you have your lip pierced, you're definitely in your 30s trying to relive your teen years and it doesn't look good on you. But if you're younger, you can probably pull it off and it's really cute. Like, <laughs> yeah, that one was good. But the tongue, yes, we feel that. They're baddies. If you have your trachus done, you definitely only got it because you couldn't stop getting pierced. There's no real reason you got it, you just wanted it. If you have snake bites, you definitely still listen to metal, which is completely fine. And you definitely went to Warped Tour in 2011 or 2013. And you still shop at Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We love the snake bite ones. Um, those weren't snake bites though, but we get the gist. But yes, 100% people with snake bites. That's why they're, they're still living the metalcore days. And you know what? Keep living the metalcore days. We love that. 
because who doesn't love metalcore? You are hot. Yeah. You also have a lot of confidence at times, and you're just all around a baddie. You're great. We love you. If you have an eyebrow piercing, you definitely got this either when you were really young or when you were, like, in your 20s. And dare I say it, but y'all like anime. If you have your Medusa... No one really gets their eyebrow pierced anymore. No anime lover has their eyebrow pierced, just like this is incorrect. I hope I never have to hear the word baddie ever again because I'm not loving it. You're kind of scary, but like in a good way. You're kind of intimidating at first, but you're really nice after and a baddie and you look to get down. Look you freak. Get down. <laughs> That's great. We love, we love that one. Sounds a bit ick to say because I have one, but it's like pretty true for most people with one. I also like love how it's a girl who has no piercings and she like is doing this piercing video. Okay, right. If you have your conch done, you probably wanted more piercings and you didn't know what to get so you just got your conch done. Mm. Um, also you must really like pain. <laughs> if you have your rook done, you got this because you couldn't fully commit to a date. Yeah. You probably also just got this to be different and like fill up your ears and just look cute, honestly. If you have your date done, you definitely say you got this for migraines, <laughs> but also like the rook and the conch, you want it to be different and you want it to be cute and quirky. Also, <laughs> how do AirPods fit in here? <laughs> I, I just want to know. If you have your smiley done, um, you're probably sneaky as shit. You're definitely just kind of two-faced, but also you might be shy, so like, I don't know. If you have gauges done, honestly, I love y'all. Y'all are really funny, really creative, super nice. And you're probably gonna do something with art later in your life. I don't know if having gauges makes you really funny and really nice. I feel like if you've got le like legit huge gauges, you are not really nice and funny. Don't get me wrong, there is happy people with them, but I'm just saying I wouldn't class them in the like happy, funny crew. They're like, I want to look intimidating and scary. People who would see that who have quite large like ears, they would literally be like, do not call me funny and happy. I want to be scary and intimidating and like look the part like this is a joke. Why are you putting me in this, this box? Like they do not want to be called that. Like I for sure know this. Maybe people with like eight millimeter stretches, they might be like funny and like cute and happy, but like that's because they can't commit to something so brutal. That's the making for a true angsty, angry, hardcore kid and they do not want to be labeled as happy and funny. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like down below and I will be back very soon.